Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. And come in with power. This is season six, episode five, mm. King's Gambit. We're gonna go ahead and um, for all of you all to come back each and every week, thank you for, if you're new to our channel, welcome to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up or thumbs down button at this point. Doesn't even matter. You've already been counted. Yeah. Go ahead and press your notification bell. That'll let you know when we come in with another one. We're going to get right into it. We're going to hit it real quick because I'm all emotional. Yeah. Look. Look. We was blindsided, man. <laughs> we did not expect for Joe Proctor. To get killed it in this episode, Mike. Got killed it up. We talking about the most loyal, faithful, shadiest lawyer that we know <laughs> on this side of the United States of America. Joe Proctor is Virginia's Joe Morrissey. Yes. If y'all know anything, Google Joe Morrissey in Virginia. That's that's Proctor, but for yeah. Virginia. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot it, to take it's, it. I was like, I was sitting on the edge of the couch and was like, Tommy, no. Don't do it. Don't kill Joe. In the Don't manner of what you did. Yeah. So we you know. Do all that. And the, what made it so bad was Tommy didn't even really verify that the information that Sax told Maria was even true. To even go, he didn't even bother even ask Proctor if it was even true. And Proctor been faithful to them. They kept them out of handcuffs. Kept them out of prison. And then you gonna come in there with an assault freaking rifle like that, man? Well, I guess an assault rifle, AR or machine gun, I don't know what it was. Yeah. And just shot up the penthouse, man. I mean, to the point where you, you got to move out. Yeah. We can't come here and clean up a crime scene. You got to go. And the part, and the part that really has scared me, and I'm so glad that Tariq was there when Tommy gave the call to tell him you need to clear out the penthouse, keep the door open so I can get in. What if uh, Marie was there and Marie was there, man? He just came and just blasting. I mean, tearing up the cabinets, tearing up the doors, just shooting up everything. You can tell he was torn around with Proctor at first. Yeah, because he could have shot him right there in um, the living room. But I thought about it. I said, in every scene that we saw either Ghost of Tommy killing somebody, I ain't never seen them use no gun like that. Never. You would you, you would have thought that Proctor was a hardcore drug dealer or... This, this bad dude that they had to take down. But it but goes he, to show you that it was a personal kill. Yeah. Very personal. Yeah. And I'm mad about it. This little girl lost both of her parents in probably a week's week, span. A week's time. God. I, I'm not here for it. Man, it, it, it's sad. I, I still can't get over that's it. That's my problem is our cousin, man. He, he, you know, he the guy that can come to the cookout. I can't wait to hear what Mike B got to say about it. Mike B love him some Proctor. That's how I do. Man, I, yeah, I wouldn't. I, I know y'all hurt ready. too. I know y'all hurt too, man. Yeah, Tommy, you, Tommy. Yeah, I, I like you, Tommy. I don't know if I even like you anymore now. See, and here's the thing with me. Y'all know that I ride for Tommy. So crazy yeah. Tommy, I'm here for <clears> it. <throat> but I actually wanted Proctor to take Tommy out. I was like, with all the machine guns and all the stuff that he doing, wouldn't it be everything for, for Proctor just to pop, pop mm -hmm. and take him out? You done sprayed the whole place up to Miss Proctor he take you out with a single shot. Yep. That's really what I wanted to happen. I would have traded, um, I would have traded Tommy for Proctor. Yeah, I, total 100, total 100. We have our cousin. They got a word, Sadie. Our cousin Sadie got something she need to say about this. What you got to say, Sadie? No! 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 I can't take this. Why? First and foremost, now Fuck you. But that, but that goes to show you, man. You know, I understand in the in the drug game that you know there's no loyalty amongst thieves. Mm -hmm. But Proctor was he was different, man. He was a shady lawyer that everybody loves. Yeah. He wanted to practice law. He tried to give you some advice, but when you didn't give him when you didn't heed to his advice, he still got you out of your skit. Yep. You cover for him because he had a little skit going on. Yep. He was that everyday dude. 
He had a little bit more money, but he had everyday problems like the rest of them. He had exactly. a crackhead ex-wife that would take it through the ring of yep. for his daggone <laughs> child. All he wanted to do was be a father to his goddamn daughter. Mm -hmm. Say to what you gotta say about that. All Proctor wanted to do was to raise his daughter and protect her from that crackhead. And look what y'all did. Single fathers matter. See, even, <laughs> even Sadie is pissed off about this. She said all he wanted to do was be a single fathers matter. That's it. That's it. So we got Tasha. She still got money problems. Her and Thomas sitting in the car smoking weed, talking about her money problems. Thomas said, I got you. You know, that's Tommy. And she turned that into... Uh, you know what? You can you know pretty much clear the money through the uh, through the daycare. She was like, he was like, no, nah, uh, uh, I'm just gonna give you the money because Keisha ain't gonna go for that. I said, oh, so we're slowly being on Keisha's side. Yeah, yep. And Tommy was never like that. Mm -mm. Tommy always Tommy rocked more with Tasha than he ever did with Ghost, in my opinion. Me too. Because she, because um, pretty much he done turned against Ghost on for her in many occasions. Or he just remained neutral. It all depends on. Yeah, because that's his sister. Yeah, it and all she's depends never, on. I mean, they fallen out, but not to the point of no return like him and Ghost. But her money problems got so bad, and all of us black people have been there, <laughs> that she went to the store to try to return some clothes. <laughs> so she can get some extra cash, and the cashier had a nerve to be shady talking about something. Oh, yeah. If you need some cash, you can go to the ATM. <laughs> I saw or play those closets so they can give you some money for your clothes. And what a black folk nightmare is got there. Keisha was there to overhear the conversation. It was like, Tasha, you high? Deck yeah. out. Massage it. I said. It's almost like the road switch. It did. Yeah. But Keisha always wanted to be Tasha. Yep. So now she's Tasha 2.0 with a bad attitude. Not even. You about to get got. Yep. I mean, you not going to make it around right here. And, of course, you know, you, you start something brand new. Hey, I'm Tasha going to the daycare. And this dude named Zeke rolled up on her and said, you know, you came to the community, but you didn't have a meeting with the community. And she was like, uh, uh, Councilman uh, Tate, Tate, uh, Rashad Tate approved this and got me up and running. But he said, Rashad is not the community. So you know what that meant. Uh -huh. So I'm going to need you to give me a band a week. I said, I said come on. What? We always do that to each other. Yeah. A band, though? Oh, maybe a band a month. Yeah. You know. But a week. But a week. Do you see a four. band worth of kids coming up and do it? That's four bands a month, man. I mean, she out of business before she even got started. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, she had this girl that came. We seen this ghetto <laughs> chick. And she a stripper came up in there. She was late. You know, picking their kids. Yeah, black people. We need to get, we need to do better. Huh. That was like that was like that when we was younger. Even the free baby, you be late with the free babysitter. Oh yeah. Now you gonna be late with the paid babysitter. And Tasha had a hundred dollar fee. I'm like Tasha, she probably barely paying. Uh huh. For the childcare, the hours that she's supposed to be there, a hundred dollars though. Huh. And she was like, I ain't got it. You know, I, I ain't got it. it. And so we saw Tasha decided to get her to do some research on Zeke. Come to find out that Zeke pushed weight. So that was her out. Was like, hey Zeke, I've been doing some research on you. She rolled up on one day. I, I did some research on you. Come to find out you pushing weight. And he was like, oh, so you gonna call the cops on me? She's like, no. I, no. I got something else. I got to do that. This is a business meeting. So you like, I'll go ahead and I'll move some weight for you. So that's her out. I that's her thing. Was, I thought she was going to allow him to clean yeah. through the daycare. But you actually trying to put your hands on some physical weight right now, Tasha? Yeah. No, you look smarter than that. Yep. So, I, I didn't like that. But we we 50% through the season, man. I, I don't want to just say this, man. Y'all doing that thing, yo. Courtney Kemp, 50%. Mm -hmm. All the writers. Man, y'all y'all doing that thing, bro. Yes, you yeah. doing that thing. And we got Dre. I felt sorry for Dre. We don't like Dre. But I really felt sorry for Dre this episode, what Sax did to him yeah. and blackmailing him with, with um his daughter Heavenly. I'm like, I, I don't Heaven. care. Heaven, yeah. I don't care what you got on somebody or what you trying to get. I'm never going to be for you using kids.
to get what you want. And he was taunting him. Yeah. Like he was in a kidnapping situation, winding one down and she, <laughs> yeah. and the lady just holding it like this. I said, y'all ain't had to do all that. And like Dre said, man, this is a slave master. Yeah, kind of exactly what it is. We was kind of wrong about Effie. We thought Effie was with the FBI or she was a plant. But come to find out, I don't know if she's working for somebody else, but y'all remember the beginning of the episode when she was talking to the Reek that was playing um, chess and she was like, okay, I'll check you later uh, and I'll come back to pick up that weight. And Tariq was like, sure. And when she was leaving out there, she texted the person was unknown, said the competition, I believe the competition is out of weight, but um, I'm going to keep my eye on them. I was like, oh. like so who you, who is you? So who, who sent you? So I'm wondering... If she is, if uh, if she working with Zeke, that's the only connection that I could make. Cause how funny is that Zeke would roll up on Tasha like that? I don't know. Yeah, so maybe, maybe, yeah. Uh -uh. We'll get, trust me, we'll get there. Or unless they throwing us off like they did last week with um, Angela telling us that Ghost was gonna kill Maria, which he did not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she I was expecting it because yeah. they kind of they kind of set it up because we Mama Proctor had went to Tommy and told Tommy, "Hey, we got a loose end. You and Mama Maria, when y'all killed her her boyfriend, fiance, whatever, she saw y'all, and she didn't ready to testify. He went and told Ghost the same got darn thing. I say got darn Proctor being like Jason now. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. I said, okay, he being like Jason so you, now. So you put both of the cats out there after the mouse. Yeah. Whoever gets the mouse. Okay, good job. So. And of course, Crazy Timer. So Crazy Timer, you know Timer, where she at? Because <laughs> Timer, you know. He is an on-site type of dude. Yes. And a drop of a dime, he'll kill you. So that's how he found out about Proctor being the rat through sex because he was in the closet waiting to kill her, which we saw. He came out the closet and killed her. And I was like, and then we seen Ghost came later to do the job because she was, he was talking to the, um, I can't even remember her name now, the, the lady from DC, from DMV, from DC. Yeah. Uh, so he was going to go take care of it then after he finished talking with her. So we got Maria gone and you got the, I need to kill again hit um, look in Tommy's eye. Yep. So we know what was about to happen next. I said, he don't heard this bullshit yep. about Proctor. And I said, oh, this ain't going to end well for Proctor. Yep. And, and the bad part about since he's still on Proctor, man, it was like, Sax, I, I wish it was Sax. I mean, he is like, he, he, he tried too hard. I mean, he just go beyond, you know, he don't even care. He was just like Mike um, Sandoval. Yeah. Yeah. Going above and beyond to try to take down somebody. And we remember uh, Proctor did rat out Tommy because yeah. uh, this joker found the plant. It got the plant, the bug in the house. They came over to confront Proctor and he found, ironically, the, the, the freaking bag. unicorn was in the hallway because he told him I need to take a leak. Uh, that was kind of unbelievable. And so he used that recording to, to pretty much blackmail Proctor to get the information about from him that time to kill Angela. So I I just hope that next next episode Sax will be the one. Yeah. That be taken out. Yeah, because he 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 doing the most. And he was gonna blackmail him with that. And even when he told him that time to kill Angela, he the one, I want ghosts. Yeah. I, so I want ghosts. I'm like, he giving you something. Yeah, so he giving you something. That's that still won't even good enough. So I I don't know if they're gonna end up firing him because um his, they got the new boss is he's, he's done with him. Yeah, he's done with him. He's like you you more of a liability than you an asset, bro. <laughs> and that's why he's trying to prove himself to that guy so much. Yep. Because he already know that he is this close. Yep. From being in that unemployment line. Yep. And Proctor, the brilliant lawyer that he is. You remember when uh, he went over to Ghost and asked Ghost, hey, you know, can I crash here? You know. But with yeah, your bags, though. Yeah, how are you bags? Can I crash here? You've you know, been hanging with us too long. Yep. I got a case. <laughs> so he had to lie. I got this case and I want us to be protected. But you can remember he gave uh, Anne Marie a gift and gave her the appendix and Nicholas. It had that dead on uh, flash drive in it. And I believe that's the flash drive from the goddamn laptop. Because y'all remember, 
when when Tommy took the shots to kill Proctor, he said, this ain't over. But listen, that phone call that Proctor made to his daughter. Yes. That thing broke my heart. <laughs> oh, my God. And she was like, Daddy, are, am I going to see you later? And he said, no, baby. No. You, you're not going to see me later. Uh, that was and hard. Daddy, that was... love you. I was like, oh, oh no, man. Oh, man. And I still me, was hoping. I said, you know what? I hope that he take a shot and land it with Tommy. Yeah. And he can surprise his little girl yep. and come on home. I said, dang. Yeah. And Tariq had to end up walking her over to Uncle Benny's. Is it Benny? Yeah, Uncle Benny's. Uncle Benny's house. So I give props and to Benny I give him. props to Tariq for that though. Uh -huh. Yeah, because he could have really just left her. He could have, but he was the one that set her dad up. Yep. He mm -hmm. Yep. Set him right on up. I mean, he did. I mean, Tariq really didn't know what was going on. He just, you know, he listened all the time and because because he knew. <laughs> yeah, he knew. He knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's ghost child right there. So. We saw a ghost come storming home, seeing his place all shot up. He looking forward to Reed, cause he trying to figure out what the hell didn't happen that, you know, here they come, you got a dead body on your hands. Why, <laughs> why ever, <laughs> wherever you at, why is always a dead body? <laughs> Who wants you dead? Who wants you dead? <laughs> ghost is like, I thought he was getting ready to tell it, to be honest. I thought he was going to say, Tom it. Man, can you imagine coming back home that your whole house was intact and come back home and your house is all shot up to hell? <laughs> I mean, it, the Godfather. Yeah. Literally. So, as they were trying to question Ghost, he get a call from Tariq. And he just said, Dad. And then we seen Tariq texting on um, Tommy. Said, 911. Meet me. Meet me. So, they end up going meet at this guy doing some amusement park. So... Tommy and Ghost happened to run to each other. Tommy was like, I know you set me up. Ghost was like, nah, I ain't set you up. Then here go Vincent. I did. I said, oh, hell. Now, this was the last thing that messed me up this episode. Because we knew we knew Vincent was going to find out that Tariq cut the weight. He was like, your son, your godson cut my weight. And because of that, I want $2 million. Not only do he want two million, I want it in twenty four hours. And hey, y'all, let him bring it up. Y'all, I was like, give me five business days at least. <laughs> God darn, two million dollars in twenty four hours? They said that like that was twenty dollars. Like you can go buy that from your grandma. Or if you don't do it, I'm gonna kill Tariq. But what messed us up was Tariq was in hiding, but he looked like. He wasn't like, he like, like he wasn't captured or kidnapped. He, he was like, like he set this up. Yeah, he set it up. He looked like he the one that's running the shot. I, I don't know how ghosts, I don't know how y'all can come up with that $2 million. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all have money problems as it is. Yeah. Your bar always empty. Yeah. And I ain't seen you had nobody in the club. So you owe, you owe, now you owe him $2 million. You still owe Jason another 100000 You week. behind. Yep. Every uh, week. Yeah, so I don't know him in the weeks you behind on Jason. <laughs> <laughs> so Ghost, uh, you probably had to come back in the game, man, to push a little bit of weight to get this cash. Yeah, uh huh. And that's what Jason is aiming at. Yeah, he want him back in. But Dre wants to go back in the game. He's like, send me. Send me. I'm yep. ready. I said, mm -mm. he was like, no, Dre, you can't go. You can't go. Yeah, but this man, this was a, this was a hell of a good episode. We was not expecting for Proctor. And I'm like, Ghost and Tommy, what y'all gonna do? Proctor is the was the one to get you out of this stuff. Who are you gonna be able to consult with now? Yeah. Yeah. Now Sadie got one last words, and this is what she gonna sing at that funeral. Proctor, this is for you. This is for my homies. This is for my homie. Well, well. And on that <laughs> note, straight for the VA. Dirty, dirty south. Two up, two, two down. down. Holla.